Today, we face a similar dilemma. If the rulers of Europe, like the Metternich-type aristocrat of that time, prefer the power of elites and the top-down imposition of their values, they will ultimately meet resistance. It may come sooner or later, but it is inevitable. inevitable. So, what are European values? And more importantly, what is Europe? Its history did not begin a few decades ago. Europe is more than two millennia old. Europe grows out of the heritage of the ancient Greek, Romans, and Christianity. These are our roots. We grow from them. We cannot cut ourselves off from them. There is no Europe without soaring Gothic cathedrals nor the edifices of universities. Europe has always soared on the wings of faith and reason. And the university model of education that was created in Europe has spread all over the world. And we are proud of it. This happened because the European uni University was a space for discussion and clash of opposing ideas. The most conducive environment for discovering the truth. There should be no place in Europe for censorship or ideological indoctrination. We have already gone through this in the past when the communist authorities told us what to think. This was also experienced by Germans in the times of Hitler when the books were burned. Europe should be a, cath a cathedral of good and a university of truth. Europe should be a cathedral of good and a university of good, of truth. Here too, it is worth highlighting that various bans, arbitrary decisions on what can and cannot be presented within the walls of universities, as well as political correctness, undermine the eternal mission of the academy, the search for truth. And just as we protect our material heritage, we should also protect our spiritual heritage, which, which consists of citizens of different cultures and linguistic tradition. tradition. Europe's strength over the centuries has been its diversity. We share common values, but each na nation has its own identity. Gleis Schalten, Uravniwovka is a road to nowhere. Germany and France are two central players in Europe. In the 75 years between 1870 and 1945, they fought three wars. Only after the last one was reconciliation achieved. This reconciliation bears fruits today in the special political relations between Berlin and Paris. This special mutual sensitivity to the rationals and sensitivities of the two capitals grew out of a tragic past. For the sake of European balance, but also because of a much more tragic past, the same model of mutual sensitivity to the rational and interest of Warsaw is needed. Today, we do not have a sense of the, the, this sensitivity in Warsaw. The foundation for the reconciliation was laid by two, group, two great Europeans, Charles de Gaulle and Konrad Adenauer. Both wanted to build a lasting peace in Europe. They understood that mutual respect and awareness of each, other root, each other's roots were prerequisites for cooperation. Chancellor Adenauer said, and I quote, if we now turn away from the sources of our European civilization, born of Christianity, it is impossible for us not to fail in trying to rebuild the unity of European life. This is the only effective means of maintaining peace, end of quote. General de Gaulle was also deeply aware both of Europe's great cultural heritage and the horrors of internal war. De Gaulle said, 